Hello, and welcome to Gray Noise University. I'm Michael Sargavakian, and this module is part of our Gray Noise product overview training series. In this module, we will be covering the tag trends view, what actions you can take, and what problems this helps you solve. To get to the tag trends page, come to the navigation bar and select trends. If you've been on an IP details page, you've probably seen different tags whether it be for specific vulnerability, worm tags, or crawlers. The tags are a way to capture patterns and create subsets in our data. This tag trends page provides the ability to view newer or interesting tags. This can give you a daily view to help prioritize which tags to investigate further if you're a CTI analyst or a threat hunter. Trending shows the tags with the highest increase in average IP scanning for said tag. It looks at the last three days broken into eight hour periods. This percent change is communicating just that. There is an X percent change in average IP activity. This tag here gives you a visual of what trending tag activity looks like. As you can see, over the past three days, the slope and activity is going up and to the right, showing an increase in average activity. The trending results are great if you want to potentially detect scanning that hasn't been hyped up yet, or verify a rise of activity on the internet at scale for new or old threats. Anomaly shows when gray noise sensors observe a sudden and significant increase in the number of IPs scanning for a given tag. The score you, score you can see here uses some math magic to give a ranking score that is derived from a historic averages and peak detection. Looking at this first tag, we can see this with the 10 day view. There was a clear spike in activity on January 5th, January 8th, and January 11th. The anomalies results can help you verify what days a benign scanner does its scanning. Verify if you're the only one observing erratic scanning activity or if it's happening worldwide. The most active tag is going to show you the top 10 tags most frequently scanned for in the past 24 hours and is ordered by number of scans. You'll see some usual suspects in this tab like Mirai or SSH Brute Forcer. This view as a whole is a great way to see what most IPs creating noise on the internet are scanning for or exploiting. This is where you can come to see the most recently added tags to gray noise in chronological order. Again, this will be the last 10 results. It's a way for you to stay updated and track recently identified and published tags. This concludes this training module. If you have any questions on the topic covered, please reach out to support at graynoise.io.